Okay, so here we are. We're Friday the 12th. And in the interaction lab. And then Jan is going to show us a small project, what he's been doing this week. I tried to connect the Wii mode to the PC. And I used GlovePy, a program that's open source, and uh, Wii, 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 Wii to, to connect it to the PC. And uh, I have like, like this little control here. And if I turn it, it's the T port. And I used the second remote to like to zoom. So if I press this button and do a movement, I can zoom out and then and I can rotate it at the same time. And then I used, uh, if I press this button, I should be able to. It's not really working, but. Because there are the infrared lights, and I can move it around. This is what I did. Excellent. What was the. So, maybe just explain why you're having this uh, sensor bar with the LEDs. In, in um, it's the same sensor bar that comes with the Wii, and it's it's a real low-tech product. The, the sensor bar. It's only four LEDs, two on each side, infrared, and the the Wii mode. Okay, now I did something. <laughs> maybe she's going to sleep. Sleeping on. Do you have any special LEDs to the infrared? Yeah, it's special infrared. Okay, so. And um, there's a sensor mm -hmm. that uh, recognizes the position of the of the mode and through the LEDs, so you can like use it as a mouse or as a pointer, like a laser pointer. You see this blue dot mm -hmm. is like where the remote points to. And yeah, it's, it's really some complicated to sense about all the complicated stuff is inside here. Good. Mm -hmm. Not the, it's like one for the X axis, one for the Y axis and one for the Z axis. And it depends on how much you turn it. The values mm -hmm. change and then you can control the I was playing around a lot with it to, to try to move the keyboard exactly like the same like this. Is this what you do Yes, it's uh, uh, maybe I can show you how, how to work with it because I like it very much. It's it's cool to work with Wii Wii because it's you can easily see what happen what's happening and you can it runs all the time. Mm -hmm. As soon as you change something it uh, the program just moves and you don't have like a flash or always type like control enter to, to test it mm -hmm. and this program runs all the time. Mm -hmm. Does it demand a lot like good camera computer and stuff like that? It's hard way. No, it's really she wants to know if she can run out of her dying. <laughs> And uh, I can I see that these lines that you connect to yeah. these boxes, you, you can connect either to the like to the corner or in different position. Does it, it matter? De it depends on the nodes. You have like um, there are different nodes, different boxes, different kind of boxes. Okay. And some have like this one. It has a lot of connection points. Every darker dot here is a connection point. Uh -huh. You can connect to different stuff, and if you like. And yeah, maybe I can can give you some introduction to it, but because it is uh, more complicated and uh, with some some more easy stuff mm -hmm. to show you how it works. Yeah, I would love. Yeah, I would love that too. Next week we should have a session with him. Good. I think we should 
don't need to write any code. No, it's a, a graphical user program, graphical programming language, they call it. But. And this is the program I use to read out the data from the remotes. It's called GlovePy. And it looks more like Arduino with this language here. But it only sends the data to me. Yeah, that all the programming in Vimeo. Who would This is very good. So, Max, you? Me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>